Welcome on into the Josh Reese Show. I am your host, Josh Reese, and this video will be talking about the breaking news of Chris Paul heading to Houston to join James Harden and the Houston Rockets. Yes, it's true. It's damn true. Daryl Morey found a way to bring Chris Paul to Houston, and now Chris Paul is going to be joining the Houston Rockets. Amazing! But first, uh, before we get into the video, please follow my friends over at Countryside Massage here in Conroe, Texas. They are linked in the description below. They're friends of mine. I am friends of theirs. They're supporters of The Josh Reed Show, and I am supporters of them. But enough said of that. Let's get on into the video. And uh, if, you are, if you have been living under a rock and you are not sure exactly what the Rockets gave up, um, and if you're not really sure what happened today, let me first welcome you to the new world of Chris Paul on the Houston Rockets. It's true, yes it is. So, the details of the deal is Chris Paul getting shipped to Houston and getting shipped on over to the Clippers is going to be Patrick Beverly, Sam Decker, Lou Williams, and a first round pick. Now, when you're inputting this into the ESPN trade machine tracker, tracker, whatever, the ESPN trade machine, it's not going to work because the NBA is not yet in a new year, but once uh, the new year hits on July 1st, then uh, the, uh, the cap will expand a little bit and the Rockets will be able to bring Chris Paul in with that uh, extra expansion. Um, so on the face of this deal, the Rockets are getting Chris Paul, but they are giving up three rotation players. Three rotation players for one, um, it'll be interesting to see how exactly the Rockets are going to make up that depth. No doubt there are going to be some players that are going to want to join the Rockets now. In fact, um, uh, not Stephen A. Smith, I saw, was reporting that if Carmelo Anthony receives a buyout, which people are saying could happen, uh, Anthony will join Houston, uh, will join Chris Paul and James Harden in Houston. That's just one aspect of this. There are going to be other veterans that are going to want to join James Harden and Chris Paul. We all seen, you know, David Lee in the past or uh, David West in the past, you know, take massive pay cuts to join the Spurs or the Warriors. This is going to be that team in Houston. Uh, in the Rockets um, free agency perimeter I did earlier, which I linked below, unfortunately it's a little bit of out of date now because Chris Paul is now joining the Rockets. But anyways, on that video, there are some bargain uh, bargain guy prices on there and still some other ones that I guess I'll have to ferret through a little bit later. But also, uh, Kyle Korver might be willing to take a massive discount to come to the Houston Rockets. Uh, Nene might be willing to come back to the Houston Rockets if he's healthy. You might also see some other uh, uh, veteran uh, big-name players. Maybe this will be the time that, um, that you'll see Zach Randolph finally leave the Memphis Grizzlies to come join the Houston Rockets and add some uh, some depth to some positions there because the Rockets could certainly need some more uh, some more depth right now under contract the Rockets have ten players twelve if you count the two existing cap holds uh, for restricted free agents Bobby Brown and uh, Troy Williams but under con under contract right now and I'm not really going to list it as guards. Point guards, shooting guards, small forward, power forward, and center. Because under Mike D'Antoni's offense, it seems like there's really only three positions. Guard, forward, and center. You have people that can bring the ball up. You have people that can shoot on the wings. And you have a guy who can dunk the ball. It's really the pretty much the only guys in uh, Mike D'Antoni's offense. He needs nothing for your shooting guard and your small forward designations um, because they all played a hell of a lot last year and a lot of different funky positions. So anyways, under contract at the guard position right now, Chris Paul, James Harden, Eric Gordon, uh, also Bobby Brown and Isaiah Taylor. Bobby Brown, Isaiah Taylor, you can upgrade from, but Bobby Brown is a big friend of, of Chris Paul, of James Harden, and since it seems that James Harden has a big hand in every move 
that the Rockets make this year. He was a big hand in creating Chris Paul. As you'll see in all the reports that are out there, James Harden was lobbying for Chris Paul for a very long time. Um, it's doubtful to think that Bobby Brown is going anywhere. On the forward position, you have Trevor Ariza, Ryan Anderson, Kyle Wilcher, and Troy Williams. So right after the starters, you have a massive drop-off. And then at center, we have Clint Capella, uh, Montrez Harrell, and Shinano Anawaku. So certainly the Rockets have some depth that they can fill. Also, as uh, we're doing this video, it's being reported by Brian Red Windhorse that the Rockets are still, right after the trade for Chris Paul, they're still trying to land Paul George. And now that the Rockets have gotten Chris Paul, who am I to say that Paul George is not coming to Houston? It looks like Daryl Morey is not going to quit, quit until he has a team that is comparable to the Warriors and the Cavs. And uh, this team that he's assembling right now is uh, certainly getting very close to that Warriors-like level. Of course, it's going to be hard to defeat Draymond Green, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Kevin Durant. But Chris Paul, James Harden, Eric Gordon, that's, that's a start. That's a start. You're getting, you still have James Harden, who is one of the best offensive players on the planet. You have Eric Gordon, sixth man of the year, still one of the better scorers in the league. And now you're bringing in Chris Paul, who is one of the absolute best defenders in the game. And he's still a great offensive player, can score and can pass. Um, the Rockets just need to add a couple more pieces and they'll be right there with the Warriors. Now, for fit, I know this is, this is going to be um, a little bit of a cop-out. But it's, it's super, super hard to understand and figure out how exactly Chris Paul and James Harden are going to fit on the Rockets. But with Chris Paul wanting to come here and James Harden wanting Chris Paul to come here so badly, you get a sense that they can figure a way to make it work. And no doubt that Mike D'Antoni who just finished winning coach of the year, is going to find a way to make everyone happy. But it should be known. It should be said. Chris Paul, James Harden, both very ball-dominant guards. Even when James Harden was the designated shooting guard, he was still very ball-dominant. His usage was very high. Um, I find it very, very, very hard to think that the Rockets are going to have two 30-plus usage players on their team starting at the same time but they they probably will um, so it's gonna be interesting no doubt James Harden is probably gonna go back to being off the ball Chris Paul is going to be bringing the ball up and he's going to be looking for James Harden you know cutting and uh, spotting up on shots and stuff like that coming off screens um, it's gonna be really interesting and something I'm really really interested in seeing work and something I don't think I've seen in a very long time is the point guard, point guard, pick and roll. I think that might be pretty interesting to see. And no doubt you have James Harden, one of the better pick and play, pick and play, pick and roll players in the league. Chris Harden, Chris Hart, oh Jesus, Chris Harden. Now that is a player. Chris Paul, one of the absolute best in the entire game. It is it is kind of crazy when you think about it. Mike D'Antoni coached probably the absolute greatest pick and roll player of all time and Steve Nash. And now he's being gifted Chris Paul to play with James Harden, who was damn near just about as good as Steve Nash. Um, so it's the riches keep on giving to Mike D'Antoni. So um, there's not too much else I, I can think about saying about the fit. Because I, I really don't know, and I don't think there's very many people that under, that know either. They just know that the Rockets will end up figuring it out. I think it might take a while for the Rockets to figure out how to work it, but once they get Chris Paul, James Harden um, at the right balance, I think it's going to work wonders. But it might take a little bit. It might take a little bit. This is a configuration that I don't think the NBA has seen in a very long time. In fact, I can't really think of a team that has had two guards with the same ball dominance 
on the same damn team starting. Um, the most that I could think of is James Harden and Russell Westbrook back when they were with the Thunder. But even still, Harden was coming off the bench. So I don't know. If there's anyone else out there that can think of two guards of the same elite status on the same team starting, please let me know. I mean, I was thinking like, you know, um, way back when, you know, uh, Michael Jordan had had uh, Steve Kerr, you know, he's had bald offense. Um, yeah, I, I really couldn't think of very many other ones. You know, even Steph Curry, he has Klay Thompson, but Klay Thompson's a shooter. He's, he's a spot up shooter. He's not someone that's going to be taking the ball away from Steph Curry. Um, I guess the the only one that kind of makes sense is maybe Kyrie Irving and LeBron James, but you know LeBron's a power forward. I don't I don't know. I can't think much more about it. Um, this video is just going to be talking about um, just pretty much the 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 bare guts and grits of of what happened for the Rockets in this deal. So. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out uh, as the coming days uh, go when Chris Paul makes his, uh, uh, his journey to Houston. He has his press conference. We'll do another video then. Um, if anything else happens or breaks, make sure to stay tuned to the Josh Reese Show. We'll always have the latest info for the Rockets fans and sports fans in general. So anyways, if you like this video, I got six things for you. Please like this video. I would appreciate it. Please share. Share this video with others, let them know if they're not familiar with what happened today with Chris Paul, please share this with them. Also comment, let me know what you think about Chris Paul and James Harden on the same team. Is it going to work beautifully? Is it not? I'm not sure. I'd love to know what you guys think. Also, if this is your first time viewing this video and you've never seen my happy smiley face before, please follow me on Twitter at Mr. Joshua. And lastly, please follow my friends over at Countryside Massage here in Conroe, Texas. Again, they're linked in the description below. Just click the link and give them a follow. Um, but that's pretty much it for me in this Chris Paul video. I will bounce on out of here. As more details come out about this trade, I'm sure I'll do another one. Um, but I just wanted to get this one out there for all the Rockets fans. So anyways, thank you all for paying attention and giving this a view. I am out of here.